Hello everyone. Today I'm showing you um, another uh, case scenario of splitting a master spreadsheet into a multiple sub tabs. Uh, and the case here is that if you are not having a data range but a table. So as a recap, um, I will have a link to this video that I made before. Um, but this is a worksheet that I have. So basically, if you have a master spreadsheet and then you want to split them based on certain criteria, for example, in my case, the department, then basically you write the code um, that I have in the description in the um, in that video, um, which is something looking like this. Um, I'm not going to go into detail now. You can always go back to watch that video, but and then you go uh, split. I just want to make sure I'm selecting the right macro and then you go to the macro and then da 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 da. And then you have all the spreadsheets split out uh, based perfectly on the department. So this is what um, this macro does. But as I found out, um, if your data is in a table format, uh, then that previous macro code does not work. And how do you know if it's in the table format? Well, it's easy. You go in here, you see table tool uh, on the top. You go design and you have a table name here. So note that go back to our original spreadsheet where we have the original data set. Note that there's no table there and um, there's no um, and therefore this is just a data range like uh, the master data range that we select is just a data uh, range. So what happens if we have a table set? So let's now um, use the same spreadsheet. Um, we have the table set and then let's now use the same uh, code that we had for um, for the previous pre previous data set, and then let's see what happens. So now we are in this data set and well actually another way to do it is that you go uh, right click your uh, your button and then go split and filter sheet um, and then you go click on it and then see this is the arrow you have and then basically when you go debug um, it's showing that for this um, line of code it does not run through something wrong um, something is wrong here um, and the reason for that is exactly because it's a table range uh, when you have a table range the table data is different from all the uh, all the cells outside the table so when you try to delete the entire row uh, it does not allow you to do that it actually like you have to separate the table itself from all the other cells. So what is the way to do it when we have the table range? Um, now that's what I'm going to cover today. So basically I've uh, developed a new set of code. It's still not complex. It's perfectly fine for beginners. Um, and let me explain to, it to you as well. So let me uh, get rid of this um, error. So we let's go back to our master uh, table. So now you have this table. Uh, and the key thing to remember is that in Excel, um, table is regarded as a list object. So this is a core uh, difference from this set of code from the previous. So in the previous one, we only have the range, but then in this one, we actually have the list object. So um, let's see what's different here. So in this uh, in this code, we have the same. We still need to define our split code, which is in this um, in this tab. We still have the master sheet um, and we still do the loop uh, and we still uh, rec uh, create the new spreadsheet in the same way. Uh, the first difference is this list object. So by adding the list object uh, one, it's by default um, um, noting to the table on this spreadsheet, which is what I'd, whatever table that you have here. And then it's selecting the range. Um, it's still the same in for this line of code. It's still the field six, which is which is department. Um, and it's still filtering for the ones that's not equal to the cell value. And then this line of code is also changing because now we're selecting all the visible cells in this table. Um, and how do we know it's only in this table? It's because we select the current region. So be, for example, if we're selecting this one, the current region for all the uh, for the table is basically everything that you see in this table. So this is how we tell Excel, don't delete the entire row, just delete everything in this table. And then you go the offset one. So um, 
when we select, it's basically selecting everything in the table, but then we want to say, you know what, we don't want to select the title row, we want to keep the title row. So our selection goes one row down, and that is what this offset one is for. If it goes one row to the right, then it's a column, then this one will be uh, one as well. But then in our case, we just need to go one row down. We don't need to go one column to the left. Therefore, it's one zero. And then we tell Excel, you know what, we'll select this region and then delete it. And then we end it. And then in the next line of code, we say the same thing. Uh, list of object, which is the table in this active sheet, uh, let's autofill and show all the data. Uh, all the data, and you see this is also different from the previous macro code that we have. And then you go the loop uh, for every uh, for everything in this um, uh, in this sp uh, master spreadsheet. Okay, so that is the core part of it. The one last thing that I uh, want to note to you is that uh, if you're careful enough of this code, and, and again, like I will paste this code in the uh, description as well. So you will notice one thing different is that I'm adding those two line of codes. So let me show you first what does not happen. Um, what does happen if we do not have those two lines of code? So to do that, um, I'm basically changing those two lines of code into comments so it doesn't run. Um, and let's just do it. Uh, let's just do one loop so we can see the um, the results for the code. So OK, so now this is our spread, uh, spreadsheet. We are um, in this macro that we want to show. And then let's run. Um, let's stop. Like we're basically telling Excel to stop here. And then let's see what happens if we'll, we run this code one by one line by one line. So to do that, you basically click in this macro and then click uh, F8. So F8 is going to run this code one by one. So as you can see, when it comes to here, after it runs this one, it's copying a, uh, to a new tab. And then it's naming it as the cell value. Uh, and then with this table, we tell Excel that we want to filter uh, by um, the six field. And then we want to filter out everything that's not finance. Um, and then we want to delete them. So you can tell if we do not have this part, um, this line of code, Excel is going to pop up. It's going to pop up this. A message to confirm with you. Okay, are you sure you want to delete the entire sheet, uh, entire sheet row? And then we we say, of course, okay. And then you delete it, and then your Excel will run over, and then it's gonna loop to the other ones. Um, so if we do not um, have th those two line of code, it's gonna ask us every single time this pop-up window comes out and we were like no you know what we want we want to go for coffee we don't want to be here and just click on the okay over and over again so um that is why we add um those two line of code so the first one is basically saying that whatever message you have we want to disable it we don't want to display it just go default which is yes and then we say after we run the um after we run the macro uh, after everything's done, you know what? Well, we still want it to display. We still want the pop up to come up. Like we still want to use it for uh, any other use that we want to have. So that is what those two lines of codes are for. So now let's run the code um, all over again. Uh, this so this is a new code that we are using specifically for table. And then we still want to use this button. So let's go right click, assign macro. This time we're assigning the one for table. So go OK, and then let's click on it. Perfect. So now you can see Excel is running every single subtab in the same exact way that we want. And what's even better, uh, click on each of those um, tabs, you can see the the data is still in a table format. You still see the table tool here, which means that let's say if you want to manually change something in here, um, da da da, and then you can see this is still part of your table. Like your table is still uh, in effect for the sub um, tabs that you wanna that you wanna develop. Okay, cool. So that is everything I want to share with you today. Um, the code will be pasted into the description, and um, I hope this is helpful to you.
Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. If you have any question, please leave me a comment and I will talk to you very soon.